Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we are gonna creating this IC crystal material fully procedural in Blender and we are gonna render it out in Cycles Render Engine. So let's jump to Blender. This is a scene. I have set it the camera and we have three primitives, cone, sphere and icosphere because I want you to see how this material behaves differently in different shapes. So let's get started. Let's lead this first of all. Let's start by giving this a new material. So basically let me explain what we are gonna do. We are gonna mix two glass shaders and we are gonna create different maps for their roughness and normal channel. So let's start. Let me also I want to tell you that I have set up the lighting by using this HDRI which I have downloaded from hdriheaven.com. You can check that out. And uh, let me just show you how it looks in cycles. This is how it looks. This is black because we don't have any material output for this node. So let's uh, start by let me make a boundary here let's start by creating a glass bsdf node connecting it to the material output we're gonna increase its ior to around two and because i want a red crystal so i'm gonna change its color to slight red like this yeah now let me just duplicate this glass material here again and i'm gonna connect them using mix shader and I am going to change the uh, second glass VSDF IOR to 1.3. Yeah. So this is how it looks right now, and it's pretty good, I guess. Now we have to create a roughness map and a normal map for both of these glass shaders, which will obviously be different. And we have to do some things to you know get that effect we have shown in the starting. So let's get started with the first glass shader. So they uh, let me start with the noise texture node. This is a very powerful node. We, you can do many things with this node. Like I'm gonna show you some things you can do in this video. And you can also create your own material using this node. So let me first create the roughness map for this glass. So, so I'm gonna take this rough noise texture node. And I'm gonna control, I'm gonna hold control shift and click on this. So I can see how it looks. And if you can't do this, just go to edit preference. And in add-ons check that your node wrangler should be enabled. Now you can just control shift and click on this node and you can see how it looks without any node. So I'm gonna crank up the scale of this to around 10, 10.1. Yeah. Now I'm gonna crank up the detail of this to, uh, I don't know, 7, 7.5. Yes. And I'm gonna decrease its roughness value to around 0.2 like this. Now I'm gonna create a color ramp node. Obviously for roughness, we're gonna need a black and white channel. So we are creating that only right now. In this, I'm gonna increase this black slider right here about there. And I'm gonna do the same with the white one also. Also, I'm gonna decrease the white value to something around grayish. Yeah, cool. Now let me plug this in roughness value. Okay, now I like this roughness like it has some shiny area here and also it has some rough area there. So yeah, I like the result. Let's jump up to our bump chain bump map. We have to create that also. I'm gonna just duplicate this noise texture. I've told you we're gonna use this noise texture a lot in this video. Now I'm gonna click Control T first of all. Again, you have to enable your Node Wrangler add-on to do this function also. Now I'm gonna change its texture coordinate from generated to object, and we're gonna we're gonna need a like I want us special bump in this like I don't want any uh, cloudy bump or anything I want a straight lines bump so I'm gonna increase the scale of its z axis only the z axis so that I can you know crush it down crush down the texture to around something like this or yeah I am gonna increase this like this I want something like this but also I'm I don't want the scale to be that big I want it to be around 4, 4, 5, 5, uh, 5.1 looks good. Also, the details, I don't want that much of detail. I'm going to decrease this to 1.5, 1.6. 1.7 looks fine, I guess. And also, increase its roughness to default 0.5. So, yeah. This is the kind of result I want with this channel because I want to create this special type of bump. Now, I'm going to add a color ramp node right there. To control this even more. I'm gonna increase this and this a little bit. Yeah, now I'm gonna create a bump node which we're gonna use and we're gonna plug it in height input, not in the normal. 
so this is the normal map we have created or the bump we have created for this now obviously i'm gonna decrease its strength because right now it's too much i don't want it to be that strong so around 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 looks fine i guess it has subtle effect you can see now let me show it let me see how it looks in the main shader so there it goes okay it get a little bumpy there like you can see it will it's helping in breaking up the reflection also so yeah i like that result now we are gonna create the same for this glass shader also the roughness map and normal map but obviously gonna be different with, from this one so let's first of all create the roughness map again our favorite node noise texture node we're gonna use Control t but this time I don't want this mapping node because I don't want to change its mapping or anything. I just want to change its generated type to object like this. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to increase the details of this to around 15. I'm going to fully crank up this slider. 15 is the highest value you can go by, you know, scrolling it. So 15. And it will look like this. Now I'm going to add a color ramp node. Again, color ramp node is basically to just increase the black and white values of it. I'm going to flip this node uh, and Take the white channel around here and black one uh, about right about there yes yeah this looks fine basically i want a strong black and white connection and want the white part more so it will you know like i'm gonna now connect this let me again connect this mix shader i'm gonna connect this in the roughness input of this class node yeah you can see the crystal effect is coming we want this one only so it's coming like I'm liking this uh, material. Now let's begin to create our bump channel for a uh, bump map for this one. So that's also we can do with the help of this noise texture. I'm gonna use the same node. I'm just gonna copy the color ramp and connect it here. Let's see how it's looking. It's looking like this. Let's flip it back again. And uh, I don't want to change the slider more, but yeah, I want to change this white value to gray like this much gray i want yes for the bump node so now i can create a bump node connect it to height and decrease its strength to around 0.2 or something yeah as you can see this is looking fine now i'm gonna you know i can connect this uh, directly but i want another bump to overlay this one so let's uh, duplicate this bump node connect it right there and duplicate this noise texture I'm gonna change the okay. I'm gonna connect this object first. Texture coordinate, very important. I'm gonna change the scale to around 4, 4.2. 4 4.1 looks good, I guess. Yeah, that's I just want different scale noise also to overlay this one. Now I'm gonna connect this factor to the height of the new bump channel we have created and decrease this strength to very little, very subtle amount around 0 0.03 0 0.04 yeah right there so let's connect this to normal map normal input and let's see how it looks okay they're looking very fine i guess i'm happy with the result till now now also i have a uh, like i am not liking the fact that it's only mixing these two shaders with a normal slider i want to create a mask for this factor input also so we're gonna do that right now that also we are gonna do with the noise texture of course it's the very it's a very good note to create procedural materials i can tell you that so we're gonna create a noise texture we're gonna see how it looks it looks like this good i'm gonna take down the scale to around two 2.1 is fine i guess and detail i'm gonna crank up to 5 and the roughness value also i'm gonna increase to around 0.8 also i want to change the mapping and texture coordinate of this one so first of all the texture coordinate will be object because it's a procedural material so the texture coordinate should be object for all the things because so that it can like take effect in any object that's why i've created both uh, two different primitives also in last i'll show you how it looks in those two also now we are gonna create a gradient effect i want it to mix the these shaders with the gradient so we're gonna create a gradient texture 
right there we're gonna see how it looks okay this looks not as we want it to be so we're gonna do some changes in its settings in its mapping position basically i'm gonna scale i'm gonna rotate it in y axis to negative 90 so it will be all will be pitch black as you can see now if we increase the, its location in x axis we will see a little gradient going from down to top and we want that only and but obviously we don't want it to be that subtle or that like you know a single line so we are gonna mix this noise texture and this gradient texture to create the mask so we'll do by creating a mix node if you are using previous versions of blender you can see mix color right there in this it's only mix so we are gonna use this one and instead of float we're gonna choose color now we're gonna put this color in a and this gradient in b and you're gonna see how it looks okay it's look like looking like this now we're gonna add a color ramp node because we obviously want a black and white texture so we're gonna do this and we're gonna crank up the color ramp so it will be proper black and white and it will be in full contrast also we're gonna create a contrast image of black and white just the borderline will be not will be the straight line it will be like this zigzag basically grunge you can say it will be like this now i am liking this texture so i will connect this in the factor input of this mix shader nice i am liking this effect so much like it's uh, creating this red color hollow here and the back on there and we can, can we can control that using this if we don't want it to be that much red or if we don't want it to be that much you know black basically this is the map it's controlling it's controlling the black and white values so the black part will be this material the glass one and the white part will be this one the glass second glass shader we have created so we can adjust this and we can if we when we are happy with the result like this we can keep that one we can keep the one we are happy with also it's have a we can change the color of the second glass one let's take say it's blue and we can change this one to be red fully red so it's a mix of blue and red crystal right there it's looking like the result we wanted also in bonus like this is the this is the end of the material we are talking about in bonus if we want to add it if we want to go on another level you can do one more thing i'm gonna show you one more trick you can say i'm gonna duplicate this sphere scale it down inside the main sphere and delete this first of all that uh, material we have created and create a new material let's call this inside material so let's go to solo mode for a minute there i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete this principal bsdf and create a principal volume shader right there and connect it to the volume input of this material i have connected this using Control shift and click again node wrangler you have to enable that add-on very good add-on now i'm gonna increase this emission strength to give it some you know uh, emission some light coming out through this so if we back go back to our view you can see this sphere has a white effect here if you can't see you can you know scale this sphere down and you can see that that whiteness effect also is going down so you can adjust the scale of this sphere how much you want it and how much you want the inside white glow basically to result how much you want the inside glow to affect our main material you can increase the emission strength to whatever you like you can also give it a nasty glow like this one i like this glow of it inside from inside it's coming and yeah it's looking nice now let me just clear the border and go to render view mode again and select this one this one and this sphere basically select all these three and give them the same material oh nice i'm looking it's looking very good in the cone right there at the bottom of the cone it's like blue crystally effect also again you can do the same thing with these as i have done with this control shift d scale them down give them inside material yeah give them inside material and you can see the result right there it is you can control this glow coming from inside of the object 
same with this you can do shift d scale it down give it inside material and yeah there's your glow so yeah this is the end of the tutorial yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such awesome tutorials in future thank you very much